Hi, to those of you who don't already subscribe to our YouTube channel, welcome to Wizard in the Wild. Those of you who do subscribe will notice that this vlog is very different to our usual ones that generally focus on travelling and exploring out in nature in our lovely CV40 camper van called Merlin. We were recently privileged to attend a very special ceremony with our friends from the CV Owners Facebook group. This vlog shares this very special occasion with you too and we hope you enjoy it. Uh, so it's today you're actually on the Yes, yes, yes. Oh, fab, fab. I knew nothing about this. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's do it now. <laughs> so you thought you were all just going on a wee trip out to Scotland? No, we left the campsite where we're all staying and I said, oh, everybody's gone. And he said, they've probably gone shopping or something. <laughs> <laughs> we thought, oh, they could have asked. <laughs> <laughs> and we'd have maybe been. <laughs> so where about are you staying? On oh. a campsite. Hodden Castle. Hodden Castle. Oh, I like Hodden. It's really good for the dogs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hodden Castle. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. And then um, the coach, coach and horses, isn't it? That is the the yeah. pub. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, isn't it? Fab. Oh, I've been there for. I really like it. It's really nice there. Oh, brilliant. Well, you're holding hands, so that's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do as I'll start the ceremony for you, um, and then I'll invite you to say a few words to each other. But just follow me. It's a simple. Okay. Um, there's no trickery. At the end, uh, you will be tied together, hand fasted, um, and it'll be fabulous. All right, so just enjoy it, everybody, okay? okay? <laughs> so you're holding hands today during this ceremony to symbolise a physical joining in a spiritual binding of two lives. And with that in mind, these are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will countless times wipe tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will comfort you in illness and hold you when fear or grief wraps your mind. And these are the hands that will hold you tight as you struggle through difficult times. These are the hands that will give you support and encourage you to chase your dreams. Together, everything you wish for will be realised. Now we've got actually ties together now. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope, I hope there's no COVID rules. <laughs> right guys, so you'll be rain hands. If I could get you as if you're shaking hands with each other, and then uh, move them up so you're holding up to the elbow. Fabulous. And I've just got that, Ooh, that in there for you, Chris. So just under the thumb. And then we'll go around twice just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll just loop that just under your thumb there for me. Fabulous. And we'll hold on to that bit. Right. So I'm going to firstly ask you if you would like to say a few words to Chris first. Um, yes, I would, yes. <laughs> I'd prepare a few anecdotes for the rest of the class. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably keep those for later on. Yeah, they don't seem appropriate at the moment. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. 
Yeah, I just want to thank Chris for um, yeah, 39 amazing years, really. Like you said, there's been uh, ups and downs, but I think we've um, we've stuck through it quite well. I want to thank you for turning a spotty, irresponsible adolescent <laughs> into an adolescent. <laughs> <laughs> and um, most of all, bringing up our family. You, you, know, you were a big part of that. Obviously, I couldn't do it without you. And um, they're, they're, they're fantastic, and they credit to you, and they credit to me. And I do love you. Chris, we've got you on the hop. Yeah, so yeah, I know you won't have anything to say. <laughs> <laughs> but would you like to respond to Steve with a few words? I remember when you first said you loved me in the rain outside the WAF lot in your waterproof gear. Yeah. <laughs> and that was the happiest day of my life till then. And um, we've had such amazing times together. We try and forget the bad ones. And um, you're just my rock, and I, well, the love of my life, and I always will be. <laughs> now, guys, I'm going to do a declaration of intent. So, after each statement, if you just say to each other, and you just say, I will. So do you promise to love and respect one another, to share your life and dreams, to build a home that is a place of love, happiness, commitment and growth? I do. I do. I will. I do. I did. That, that's very affirmative. So, <laughs> <laughs> do you promise to be a companion to each other in all your successes and failures, happiness and sadness, to always give each other support and above all else the freedom to be yourselves? I do. I do. Now, I'm going to give you a wee, um, a wee ring reading, um, and then, because we say these magic words, that's you tie into a knuff. So. <laughs> so, from the Egyptians came the custom of placing the wedding ring on the third finger of the left hand. They believed that from this finger, a vein of love went directly to the heart. Your rings that circle themselves are a natural symbol of unending love. The ring is an ancient symbol, so perfect and simple, it has no beginning and it has no end. It is round like the sun, like the moon, like the eye, like the arms that embrace. It is a circle for love that is given comes back round again. Your rings are precious because you wear them with love. They symbolise your commitment in marriage. They remind you of who you are, where you have been and where you are going. As you wear them through time, they will reflect not only who you are as individuals, but who you are as a couple. Right guys, this is magic. <laughs> so if I could get you just to curl your thumbs up so you're holding the ends, that's it, fabulous. I'll hold this bit, and if you just pull your arms back towards. Fabulous! Yeah. Now, I'm going to get last one, just so i get you, just Chris, if you could just pop your hand on there. And you're going to go over the top because you've got to protect, because we'll need, we'll need you to protect so you know. So, how much do you know about Britney Green, Phyllis Blacksmith, and the history and things like that? Nothing other than, you know, it was a resort for people to run away to to get married, really. That's yeah, about, that's, that's it, it, that's yeah. it. So, that's the basis of, of it. Um, now, I'll give you a wee history lesson. So, in 1754, the law changed between England and Scotland. Uh, Lord Hardwick of England decided to change the law because he didn't want all these unruly marriages and things like that happening because people were getting married out with class and no kind of that happening. <laughs> so um, he, gave, he changed the law um, so that you had to be over 21 to get married without parents' consent in England. And what he did was give us a nudge and a wink and you've got to follow suit, aren't you, Scotland? And centuries later, we still don't. We're like, no. <laughs> Pandemic happens, no. <laughs> we'll come up with our own laws, thank you very much. Uh, and we decided to keep the law um, of 16 to be married without parents' consent. In Scotland, actually, you could, uh, um, as a girl, you could get married uh, as soon as 12 and 14 for a boy with parents' wow. consent. Um, I'd hate to think what my poor choice would be <laughs> at that age. Probably the first person I'd give my, um, my cream egg to uh, <laughs> when, when we got one for Easter and things like that. Um, but so, no, I wouldn't have liked my choices back then, but we didn't live as long. Um, the English would use the killers off. <laughs> um, so, no, what to say, what to say, uh, and get married at the age of 16. So, you, Lord Hardwick thought, well, it's all right because they're not got all these English, they're not got to click on that you can still come to Scotland to get married um, at the age of 16. Um, but they did. 
and the main road follows up through um, from England to Scotland and the first village that they would get to would be Gretna Green. Now loads of people ask us, so how come it was a blacksmith? What's the significance of the blacksmith? And it was because it was a small village and back then the law was the highest ranking person within any village, town, city would be able to conduct the marriage ceremony for you. And back then in Great Green, it was a blacksmith. He had his own business, he could read, he could write. So therefore that made him the highest ranking person within Great Green. So he would be the first person that they would meet over the border to conduct the marriage ceremony mm. for them. So they'd come through that door there and they would stand behind the anvil like you are today and they'd place two hands on the anvil. And he would ask very simple questions. So first of all, he would say, are you free to marry? <laughs> yes. Well, you were oh, like 39 now, years ago, yes. Who <laughs> 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 slipped up there, didn't you? So, you free to marry? I want to. 39 years ago, yes, yeah, fabulous. And then you would say, Would you want to marry Chris? Yes. I guess. Do you want yeah. to marry? Yeah, yeah, okay, that's grand. So, that's all he needed. You just need to ask oh. those simple questions. And what he would say is, yeah, I'm going to put two pieces of metal into the forge until they were white. And he would place them onto the anvil. Um, bind them together, together forever, never to be parted. Just so today, oh, <laughs> I will do you the greatest honour and I will bind your two lives together, bind them forever, never to be parted. So, congratulations. Oh. Here's to hopefully many, many years still to come. You've not only been bound together by a law, a piece of paper that says that you are lawfully married, you've been tied together. Uh, in a traditional time of the knot in Scotland with a hand fastened and I bound you together with my hammer <laughs> like the blacksmiths we'd have done all those centuries ago. Wow. So congratulations. I think that deserves a round of applause. Yeah. <laughs> What's the plans for the rest of the day? Yeah, Do you know day. what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going back to a small tent for some nibbles and, uh, and some bubbles. Oh, lovely! Uh, now, and, uh, Which yeah. I thought yeah. that, that was all that's happening today. Oh, Les, <laughs> yeah, and you just yeah. thought, oh, we're getting a wee get-together yeah, and we've got yeah, to have yeah, some yeah, sushi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fabulous. Well, oh. I wish you could join it because that sounds great to me. That's what I would do. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've got a, a few photos uh, to take as part of your package. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get everybody to sneakily take them. Yeah. Yes, so, and this yes. will prove it. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Right, everybody. So after three in Scotland, you say whiskey, of course. Right. So after three, everybody. One, two, three. Whiskey! whiskey. That was said very easily. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just do it just to make sure. One, two, three. Whiskey! <laughs> now, guys, I've got to get your shoes on your own so if everybody else wants to get come this way. <laughs> uh, I must have got my makeup bag. <laughs> Jim. You look lovely. Yeah, I forgot mine as well. <laughs> Guess You're what? Right. The cover photo is going to be on the phone. <laughs> <laughs>
welcoming Jeff. next year when you're here. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, hard, it's difficult to do, yeah, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But there you are, we got you now. <laughs> hey, Davey's on there. Yes. Oh, somewhere else. Yeah. And they've, they've got a, another name. Well, this is the very civilised area, this is. <laughs> So there was no no way she could pull out. Of it. So she got that nervous. We got a, a psychiatrist friend. She got in contact. Yeah, some very good with her. Yeah, exactly. And here comes Steve and Helen. I've forgotten your name. 